the beginning of our new driveway. So far what we completed, we have still a lot more to do down here, obviously. Could probably drive a, a truck through here right now or a vehicle. But we have to create a new driveway so we could put our secondary mailbox out there for the residential section of our land. And currently right now we only have our business section available and that's the only driveway we got in and out right now. We would like to create a secondary driveway so we could pull in, come in one way and go out another way. Basically one way in and one way out. But if we was to ever want to sell the second portion of this land, we have to create a driveway to come in so we can legally sell it off, basically. So we're basically right here. We're coming to the butt end of Stubbs's pen. And in this second half is the portion where Bonnie and Clyde are in. And... um it kind of like zooms around and when we get down to this portion, we have to now continue pushing through into this direction here to come out to the street. Because we got to make sure that one, we're not going into the gully because right behind here, let me see if I can pull it up. Basically where this tree is, there's a big gully, like a big gully. And it literally drops off down there. But we have to continue pushing through here. And we have to go out into the street. And possibly maybe get a piece of bamboo. Where we could stand up with a flag on it. So the next person out on the street could see what, where we're at. And then come to come find out. My whole land is full with beauty berries. And they are beautiful. And I came to find out also that the leaves from the beauty berry are also used like as a, a mosquito repellent, which is also great too. It's always good to know. And literally they come in bushes like this. That's how they grow wild. These are wild berries. They never purchase, but I've seen them online for $24.99 a bush. So there's a lot of wild berries and food on my land and just need to know exactly what we're doing and this is the area that we really wanted to put Bonnie and Clyde in before they had their children but unfortunately that didn't work out for us so I'm very excited to say that today I'm able to get rid of one Bonnie boy and one Bonnie girl Clyde girl and um, they're going to be going out to Jacksonville Florida to another farm and the guy said he has a whole bunch of animals out there on his farm. So I'm hoping it will work out for them out there. And he also told me whenever I come into Florida, if I want to visit them, I can. Which is always great. Because I really like to visit them. I did a little while when I was getting some puppies. When I had a bunch of puppies for sale. And this is what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't these things so beautiful looking? I guess why that's why they call them beauty berries. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm sad to see them go, but I'm also happy they're going to get a new beginning and get out from here and just be able to live their life. He said he's not going to cook them, he's not going to eat them, so that's also good. Um, I hope he's just not going to breed them. Just like I said, it could be the gene, the genetic pool could be messed up in these pigs, and um, they're also leaving here non spaded too, neutered or spaded. So it is what it is, it isn't what it is. This idiot, people are just so stupid. Some of the pigs like them and some don't. He's in the house. Throw it in there for 
Junior. And Junior's sleeping in his bed right now. And Junior, if I could find him a farm that a farmer has an excess, excessive amount of um, milk, that would be great for him because he's a milk baby and he needs his milk. He needs his milk. He won't drink the feed without milk. So I've been going to the store every other day and buying two gallons of milk. And he could go do two gallons of milk within two days. It becomes very expensive. Especially when the government's playing around with your money. Other than that, it's another cloudy day out here on the homestead. Um, trying to create another pen for these piglets and whatever pigs we might have left. And uh, stubs, unfortunately, won't be able to be processed into the winter time. And that's it. I don't know what else to do. I'm not dealing with animals no more. It's just too much money, too costly for me. And uh, without the funding, I can't possibly do it. Well, I hope everybody else is having a great day today. Stay dry because it looks like it's going to rain. But it's another great day out here at the homestead. Have a great day. Ciao.